Welcome back to the channel. We'll be taking the metro bus from Sosua to Santo Domingo. It's only about 10 bucks for four hours. So let's go. All right, we arrived. And since the mall is just down the street, we might as well go check it out. This is one of their upscale malls. It has everything from Louis Vuitton, the Zara, and Gucci. Now, if you're looking for something to eat, they have a chain restaurant called Barapayan, which is located all around the city. The jamon sandwich was okay, but the pollo was the best one. So you want to see what an Airbnb looks like in Santo Domingo? Here it is. This is in Piantini. One of their best neighborhoods. And make sure you have an AC. You need it. This one right here is a one bedroom loft. Let's go upstairs to the bedroom. Another AC. That's the bed. The closet. Has some space in it too. There's two bathrooms in here. One upstairs and one downstairs. So overall, it's not bad. Decent price. Convenient location. Make sure to stop by the Malecon. It's a nice walk, they have dance lessons, and they have an amusement park. Que lo que, todo mi gente. We are in Santo Domingo now. Zona Colonial to be exact which is like the top tourist destination. So let's take a walk. This is the first sundial the America. in the Americas, huh? So it shows two o'clock a las dos? Yeah, that's one, one, one and a half. that's about right. It's two o'clock right now. <laughs> the Spaniards used this settlement as the first point of influence in the Americas, from which they conquered other regions of Latin America. Some of the best attractions to visit in this area would be Plaza de España, Calle Las Damas, Calle El Conde and the cathedral.
We're gonna ride the Teleferico. A Teleferico is a gondola system that transports passengers to multiple stations like this one here in Los Minos. More than 11,000 people use the cable car every day. It connects 23 neighborhoods in the Santo Domingo metro area and is very cheap and safe. Now to top it off, I had to hit Punta Cana. The clean white sand, the clear blue waters. I see why this is one of the top destinations in the Caribbean.